Right. Let's go to September the 9th, our first program, and those who have just joined us during this discussion, C-SPAN's special 14-week series, Friday nights, 8 o'clock and 11 o'clock, on scene. We'll have cameras on scene in their homes and, and uh, libraries and things like that around the country. The first one will be Henry Clay. Henry Clay ran, you said, three times? He was three nominated times. three times. He ran five times. Five times. Yeah. Starting in what? I, I have him running against 1824. Jackson. 1824. 1824. Um, he was nominated again in 1832, and he was nominated in 1844. But he was a candidate in in, in, in 40 and 48, and probably would have run from from the grave. H has there, he's a Kentuckian, but it will be uh, at his home in election committee. But. Um, has there ever been anybody that ran for as many offices, high offices, like Speaker of the House? I mean, he was elected Speaker on his first day in Congress. Exactly. What age? He is a man of superlatives. Whatever you say about Clay, um, he's just a larger than life figure. I would argue he's the best president we never had. <laughs> Well, I think how staff said, no, I'm not, not arguing that he's the best president we've ever had. I am arguing uh, that um, Harold Stassen certainly ran for as many offices as anyone that we've been talking about uh, today. Governor of Minnesota and president six times or something like that. Yeah, but he became a joke. Yes, he did. That's he, he, true. He was, That's he was, true. was Clay ever a joke? No, he, I mean, people certainly, oh, oh, his ambition yes, was the subject yes, of he was considerable more. Yes, he was a, well... I don't know whether he was a joke, but Henry Clay was a nasty guy, too. There was a, uh, uh, he used to pick on people in Congress, and one of the people that he picked on James was James Buchanan. Buchanan um, and who you wrote a book about. Uh, who, who, yes, uh, James Buchanan <laughs> worked hard to be uh, what he called a, a, a working senator and congressman. He was in both the Congress and the Senate, and there were all these other people who were simply mute. And he would say something in Congress, and Henry Clay would, would call him a Nancy man and make these terrible personal comments. Uh, James Buchanan had, was cross-eyed, and so Henry Clay would sit in his seat and, and sort of point to his eyes or go like this. And um, Clay, for all his brilliance, politics ain't been yeah. you, you couldn't do that with C-SPAN's cameras in the chamber. <laughs> now right. you would be. Yeah, you couldn't make they're not, Yeah, but except they're not our cameras, right. and the Senate wouldn't show you a cutaway of right. Henry Clay Good doing point. this with his eyes. <laughs> uh, very important to know. Uh, 